In this video, I'm going to show you how to display previews of a selected image with JavaScript. So let's say I have this input here. You choose a file, in our case, an image, something like this. And when you click on open, now you have the preview. So that way the user sees what they are about to upload before they click an upload button. So here's the code we'll be starting with. We have this div for the class of select image. Then we have this input. This input has this ID, a type of file, so we can select files. And we have this accept attribute where we specify the files that this input should accept which is different kinds of images this looks like this when I click it I can select the file but when I click open well nothing happens aside the fact that the name of the file shows here so now let's do some JavaScript well first we're going to get the image input get elements by ID image input which is pointing to this input here then I can do image input dot add event listener I'll add an event listener of change which means when the input changes, which is when you select the file. And then for the callback for this event, I'm just going to do console.log image inputs dot files. I choose a file here and when I click open, I can see this file list array, which contains the selected files. And here we have only one file with these properties. So I can come here now to say image file is equals to image input dot files first item since I'm concerned about one image now I'm going to create an object URL for this file an object URL is a way in JavaScript for you to create a URL on your origin in which you can access a certain object this can be blobs or it can be files like images I'll make a separate video diving deeper into blobs and object URLs but this is what it looks like so I'm going to say image URL is equals to URL dot create object URL and then here I can pass the image image file now if I should do console log image URL you're going to see what that URL looks like so I come here refresh choose a file click open and now I have this URL blob this when I open that in a new directory you can see that this URL shows me this selected file and you can see that the origin of this URL is localhost 3000 which is where I'm currently running my application so now that I have this I can now add it to an image tag so here I have a div with a class of preview block currently this preview block has a display of none but let me keep that visible for now so in this preview block I have this image with an ID of image preview and then this button and that looks like this so I have the image currently the image is empty then I have this button and it's empty because I have this SRC empty here but now I can get the ID of this image so I'm going to duplicate this image preview and then I'm going to select it here image preview when I have this image URL I can and now do image preview dot src equals to image url so i'm updating the source of the image so we go back here now currently the image has an empty src but when i select a file let me select a different file here which is this one you can see that that src is now updated to the object url and so i can preview the image so i can also add some css to hide this block here if the src is empty i do that with the has pseudo class i have a few videos on the has pseudo class i would link them below so in this case i'm saying if the preview block has an image tag that is not with an empty src attribute then we have display of block so by default we have a display of none and when the src becomes something else than an empty string we have display block so if we go back the preview block is not showing we select our file let me select this second one click open and now we choose and we have this button and we can now upload well i hope this video helps a recap you get the file when the input changes then you create an object URL for that image file and then you can update the source of an image tag to that URL and then the user can see their preview if you enjoyed this video please give a like share with others also subscribe so you can be notified when I make more videos like this or a video on blobs and object URLs